Hey guys, welcome back to the Liam Loves Lego channel, and in this video, we're going to be doing a top 10 Lego Speed Champion sets that I wish I bought. Now, unlike the Star Wars video, I was not really interested in Speed Champions prior to, like, I'd say 2019, and basically, I would not have ever gone out and purchased, like, a whole wave of sets at that time, so anyways, guys, the Star Wars video, most of those sets I actually would have probably wanted to buy, but my parents wouldn't buy it for me or I didn't have the money. Whereas with these, these were actually sets that I probably just wasn't looking into. But now that I'm really into Speed Champions and cars in general, I wish I bought these sets. So this is going to be in no particular order. It's just the top 10 sets, and it's not from a single year since Speed Champions hasn't honestly been around that long. Uh, I know it has, but there aren't like a hundred different sets. So anyway, the first set is going to be Lego 75871 Ford Mustang GT. Now this is a Mustang, and honestly guys, I am not someone that goes uh, ballistic over Mustangs, but this is the only set that has a Mustang, guys, that is like this scale. Now there is like the older Mustang, but this is like the 2010, 2005 Mustang, and well, I don't know if I'd really want a Mustang in real life. I actually wish I owned this set just so I could have a Mustang. Now, this set originally retailed, I'm trying to look right now, for $14.99. So it was pretty cheap. And uh, obviously, back then, these were the smaller scale Speed Champions. But I just think it looks really cool. And honestly, guys, I think they actually did a pretty good job looking at the side pieces that are used for the lights and stuff. I actually really like it, and I think it's actually a pretty good representation. Even if it is a little Minecrafty, a little boxy, I think it was good. And obviously, if we did get another Mustang, guys, it would look so much better because they're now doing the bigger scale. So the next set is going to be 75874 Chevrolet and Camaro Drag Race. So this includes two Camaros, actually. I was reading that kind of like Chevrolet and Camaro because in my brain, I guess I thought that maybe it was going to be two different cars. But this set uh, was released, I don't know when, 2016. So that's way before I was going to buy a Speed Champion set. Back then, I wasn't really crazy with Lego, I think. I would get it for Christmas and stuff, but I wasn't like pining throughout the year for a certain set. But this was $30 when it came out and it is super cool. Now, there aren't a ton of images here to look at, but, um, I mean, look at that new era Camaro. That one, honestly, the front of it looks really weird in this picture, but it looks pretty cool. The other one is pretty cool as well, but it kind of looks like the older Dodge Challenger. Now, that's just me thinking that the Lego cars look similar. It doesn't look that similar, but it is pretty cool. I'm going to click on the more images thing right here because right now I'm on the brick set. The images you guys are going to see are just going to be random images of the sets but um this is just a crazy set and it was only thirty dollars um i don't care about the light thing that you get but i really like the two camaros even if the red one the front of it looks a little strange to me i do really like the set so moving on is going to be 75875 ford f-150 raptor and ford model a hot rod now this is a set that is pretty cool but honestly like the F-150 Raptor, I'm not like a huge truck person or anything like that. I was just trying to include 10 sets. But no, this isn't a set that I pretend to like. I actually really like the Model A Hot Rod. And while there is a very small set, which I'll put on screen right now, that I do own that kind of looks like a Hot Rod, this is better. Now, obviously, it is still really small, which is unfortunate. If this was going to be in the new scale, I think they probably would have done it bigger. But uh, you also get this little workstation, which is pretty stupid, honestly. Like, I don't care about that. When I get a set, I just want the car. And, like, if they're just trying to include more pieces to ramp up the price, that's actually really shallow because um, I don't think they need to do that. But that's what Lego did. They wanted to ramp up the price, and so they included that area. This was released in March 2016, and it retailed for $50. So it's a set I would definitely have not purchased. I did not actually know that was the price of the set. Uh, truck people might love this Raptor. I think it looks pretty basic, to be honest. Um, you also get the, the, the thing in the back so it can carry the hot rod, which looks cool, but unfortunately it is not worth $50, and I was not aware that this was a $50 set. So moving on, we have the 75877 Mercedes AMG GT3. Now this is a car that I've recently become pretty happy with, playing GTA Online, stuff like that. Um, I got the car in the game and like I, I would be pretty happy to have a Lego rendition of it. And now that um, I, I was aware of it, but I know they have a Lego one. So I wish that I owned it. Now, unfortunately, this set was released in 2017. So I was not 
proactively pursuing purchasing all of the Speed Champion sets. It also only retailed for $14.99, and it looks pretty good. Now, it's a little bit hard in these images for me to see the front of it. Obviously, the images you guys will see will be great, but for me, um, looking at it right now as I'm doing the voiceover, uh, it definitely looks like the AMG, but I'm just having a little bit of trouble seeing the front of it. Overall, it's a $14.99 set, so it is not exactly a set that I really need to justify buying because it's so cheap, and that was the case of many of these Speed Champion sets that were uh, before they transitioned to the bigger scale. But even then, when it's going to be a $20 set, that is still pretty reasonable. Uh, it's when we get up to something like $50 that I really have to put my foot down and say that I'm not going to go ahead and purchase it. So anyways, guys, let's move on to the next set, which is going to be the 75881 2016 Ford GT and 1966 Ford GT40. Now, unfortunately, I'm having a little bit of trouble here because this 2016 Ford GT does not actually look like a Ford GT in my head. Now, this isn't a video where I'm really going to like switch back and forth, so I'm mostly just looking at the Lego images here. But I can kind of see the resemblance of the Ford GT, but Lego has released that new set with the Ford GT, which I didn't purchase. But I think that looks more like a Ford GT than this. But as for the older Ford GT, the 1966, I think that car is nailed perfectly in the scale and size. And I really like this set. It would have been an easy buy for me. Let's see if the price changes my opinion. So the price is actually only $30. So a two-pack right now would be $30 probably with the uh, eight-wide or whatever it is. So uh, this is actually the same price. Now, I don't know if they've ramped them up, but $30 for me is good for these. I wish I could have bought this, but unfortunately I didn't. It came out in 2017. And it's a cool set. I really like both of them. Even if I think the newer one doesn't look incredibly like a Ford GT, I'll take a look at some images to uh, see if it does. So that's a 2016 Ford GT. We're going to do Dark Magic right here. I'm actually going to look it up. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. Will the day go on? So uh, it's actually bringing up a Mustang, unfortunately, but maybe if I go into the images. So I'm actually seeing an image of the car right now and I can see what Lego was trying to emulate. With most of the sets I purchased, I don't actually know much about the specific race version that Lego is trying to recreate, but I, I see an image of it and I have to say it looks okay. Uh, it definitely looks somewhat like it. So moving on to the next set, that's gonna be the 75884 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback. Now, this is a set that um, I'll have to take a look at a 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback quickly uh, just to confirm my beliefs about if this actually looks like it. So I'm taking a look at some images right now, and this is a Mustang I'm actually pretty familiar with. It's just when people say certain things like 1968 Ford Mustang, I have to look it up. And then once I see the image, I'm like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. So I think Lego actually did a decent job. Now, unfortunately, the front of it looks a little weird to me in the image I'm looking at. So I'm going to look it up, Lego 1968 Ford Mustang, just to see if I can get a better uh, look at the front of it. And uh, it does seem like some of these images, they don't really provide an incredible uh, look at the front. Most of these are angled sort of downwards, but I have to say it looks pretty similar. I actually really like this Mustang in real life, but the Lego rendition looks a little weird to me. But this is a set I would have purchased easily just because it looks cool and the color scheme is actually really nice. It's $14.99, so it is in that really good price range. And it was released from March 21st of 2018 to December 31st, 2019. Now, I think this was one of the sets when I was running to purchase the Camaro. And um, there were a few other small cars. There was a McLaren. Before those were discontinued and all you had was the new, I'm going to say, 8 wide, a 12 wide, whatever, guys. Uh, this set, I think I might have seen, but I didn't get to purchase it. Uh, I think it was already like off the Walmart site, but I would have got it if I could have. So next up is 75885 Ford Fiesta. Now this is a set that I kind of had to justify to myself because I would not drive a Ford Fiesta in real life. Maybe I would drive it, like test drive it, but I don't think like I'd want to spend my money on a Ford Fiesta just because I don't think they look incredible and looks are something that I look for if I were to buy a sports car. I know that some people might say the Ford Fiesta is not a sports car, but anyway, in Lego form, I mean, it's $14.99. It looks pretty cool. I would have bought it. It came out in March 21st, 2018, and then it ended its production on December 31st of 2019. So we have the same time period as we would have had 
for the uh, Mustang. This looks pretty cool. I don't know what's going on in the front there. I'll have to take a look at some images of this. Ford Fiesta M Sport. I don't know if I can get uh, images up right now to compare for me. But I'm seeing a few, and I mean, I can see what Lego has to work with. The, the real-life version looks a little bit better, I think. But I think I might have seen this. I don't really know the story and why I didn't buy it. I don't think it was available, though. But um, I definitely would have got it if I could have because it's cool. So next up is the 7588 Porsche 911 RSR and 911 Turbo. So this is cool, but unfortunately the older Porsche in this set has been released in white by itself. So I did actually buy that. As you saw, it is on the channel. So I didn't really lose here, but the newer one looks really cool. And there's a Roblox game called Driving Empire. I'm pretty sure that card's actually in the game. I have the card. This looks exactly like it, guys. So this set, um, it retailed for $40, oh, $30. That was the uh, price in some other country, I think United Kingdom. Uh, so $30, that's pretty good, actually, really good. And this uh, ended production in 2019 with a release date of March 21st of 2018, meaning that this, once again, was released alongside the Mustang and the Ford Fiesta. So not really a set I have to justify or tell a story about. Easy set to buy for me, and I do like it. So we're moving on to the page two of brick set here. And I'm going to show you guys the other sets that I wish I had bought, which I don't know if I can get them to come up, but um, they should be in here somewhere. All right. So another one that I wish I had bought was the 75910 Porsche 918 Spider. Really cool set. And uh, this retailed for $14.99, and it was released in 2016. That was the end of production. It was originally released March 1st of 2015. This is a really cool car, and I do like it. I have a little bit of an inkling on what the Porsche 918 Spider looks like, but I might have to go ahead and take a look back at some images of this set later to see if it really looks uh, exactly like what I envision um, in my head. So, um, are we done? I think I have covered all the sets. There's one more, though, which is the, uh, the Ferrari double pack with race inclusion, guys, which I am going to go ahead and try to find on here on the brick set. So, let me see if I can get it to come up. It's probably on page one, and I probably just missed it. So, let's see if I can find it um i'm looking right now guys it's so cool there's actually some other sets in here that are cool as well but uh i'm looking for that one right now which is the ferrari and i don't see it actually but i'm gonna keep looking so i found it it's the 75889 ferrari ultimate garage with a price tag of $100, it is probably one of the more expensive Speed Champion sets, and the release date was March 1st of 2018 with an end release date of December 31st, 2019, so it does kind of coincide with all the other, many of the other sets talked about. Now, the older Ferrari included here is super cool. The garage is actually somewhat nice because you actually have a lot of Ferrari memorabilia and stuff, so it's not just some random garage. You have this race car on here, and then you also get a full race car, so this one is kind of uh just like a race car but then this one has like the hood the wing and stuff and it has a track so this set is fully decked out so yeah guys it is a crazy set and these are just some of the sets that i wish i had bought and i mean they're all really cool and uh, unfortunately though these are just sets that i happen to not be able to buy for one reason or another and they're not really at a price point that i feel good about right now but yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video more will come soon and peace out